What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jay. We are here with week of uh, six, six of the IVA. After last week, it was a little bit of a tough loss. Hopefully, we'll be able to bounce back and get up back up on the dub train. We're gonna click A. We're going a slightly salt to his and his Vancouver like next. We've already said good luck, have fun to the boy. He's a homie. Go check him out. Tapu, Zapdos, Heatran, Lycanroc, Dusk, uh, Mudsdale, and Ladios. I already knew his six, as you can see, is already on the layout because I asked him beforehand, so I didn't have to worry about it. And like posting and whatnot so we're here um it's a surprise to see you no know, aleki which is kind of cool but understandable as well but you know it forces you to bring your ground type because you don't want to get swept by it um overall i would say that milotic is a pretty free lead if i'm being completely honest aside from like maybe lottie and i mean zapdos would kind of be unfortunate but we could recover it recover after it hits us so that would be fine too so i think we just leave milotic um if he does lead Bulu, because I that could be the only he see he could no, but I'm just gonna go ahead and lead Milo. If he leads Bulu, then that's fine. We can go right out into either uh Pontiac or Tangela. Uh so we could just do that. And yeah, I think Milo takes a solid lead right here, and that'll be fine. Yeah. I think we're gonna be just fine right here. But I could definitely see him leading Bulu potentially. Um I could have led with Pult and just U turned out, but there are some potential scarfers such as Lottie and Zapdos that could lead off. So I don't want to do that too much because uh, that'd be kind of a bleh, but I think Milo's cool. Milo's for sure, for sure cool um, aside from the Bulu lead as I've stated like five times already. But how are you guys doing? I'm doing good. Doing swell. We're doing good. We're out here playing Pokemon for fun. Uh, we see horse and soon that's going to be okay. Cool. Nice. So I will take this. Um, we get the flame orb for free unless he toxic us, which would be unfortunate uh but we can fire off a scald right here for free uh we could potentially snag a burn too if he wants to go bulu uh we could toxic as well but i think getting damp just we could two shot this thing depending on its spread so i'm not gonna uh over predict or anything like that and we could potentially get a burn too look at that that's a two shot easy burn salmon does go off i don't think we got the burn though i think it would go before salmon right goes for toxic uh yeah that's unfortunate it does go for the toxic it is unfortunate Indeed, it is unfortunate because now our flame orb is useless. And now we have to take toxic chip. So it is what it is. It is what it is. At least our defense is still boosted. But yeah, it does suck that we have to take toxic chip. Uh, now we can just opt to scald again. Uh, I don't. He might just sack this thing off. Maybe his whole thing was just a poison Milo, potentially. Yeah, it might have just been that. It might have just been the reason. So cool. So Milotic. KO uh, Mudsdale. And so the Toxic is going to rack up. Very annoying. Uh, I feel like you go Bulu here for sure. Threaten me out, which would I feel like be the best play. Ball, bowl, of, bowl of Fruit. <laughs> okay. So we got Bowl of Fruit. I guess Bowl of Fruit. Fun of Bowl of Fruit, potentially. But yeah, we're looking pretty solid right here. We could go ahead and just go right out into um, Tangela. We'll see what this thing is. Uh, I have my calcs up. I'm gonna pull them up right now, actually. Well, I mean they're up. I just don't have the. So, Tapu Bulu. See if he's like Choice Bandit or something. Because if it is Adamant Life, if he doesn't have Mega Horn, then we're perfectly fine. If he does have Mega Horn, then it's a little. Eh. I feel like he's doing. Might be seeing if I'm gonna go Moltres or Tangela. So we'll see right here if he goes for Rock Slide. Or if he goes for Megahorn, or if he doesn't have either or. Goes for Darkest Lariat. Um, I guess he thought I was gonna go Mega Gross, actually. It's understandable. Um I could just fire off a knockoff right here. That is the best thing, because I feel like Heatran comes out, and if it does, then at least I get to knock off its item. Um, only downside is like if he stays in, then I could have killed this thing with like Sludge Bomb, but I think it's necessary. Uh, to just go for knockoff right here because even if we don't know how much that did I didn't see it I don't think it's like bandit or anything we know it's not life orb too so should be perfectly fine it does withdraw I feel like you go heatran here drools I think that is heatran yeah cool so we can just knock this thing off right here nice nice critical hit let's go what is it life orb nice okay so we know it's offensive heatran so cool um, what type of offensive Heatran? No idea. Uh, but we can go Milo, if anything, or we could just um, 
go you to avoid taking damage altogether potentially on Milo because I do need it for the Zapdos in case it is Scarf because he could go for a hard rock slide and that would suck I'm just going with Moltres if he goes for hard rock slide then he got me like that's fine Moltres doesn't really do too much here I mean it does pressure Bulu fairly well but still it's okay Magma Storm okay fine we should be able to eat that nicely nice eat it relatively well Try by Swirling Magma. He's going to get recovery from the terrain. So I think we just go for Scorching Sands right here. Just to chunk this thing. He could easily go out into either Zapdos or Body. And if he does, then good play. But I'm not going to do over predict or anything until like he shows me that he's going to make these plays. Because so far, not much prediction of having. He stayed in sacked off Mudsdale easily. Um, he made the obvious switch into Heatran. Which I guess I could have capitalized off of, but in case, you know, he stayed in. But I was in a win I was in a better spot anyway, so I don't know. I would it have been worth, I guess, because if he had Mayhorn, then for sure it wasn't gonna be worth for me. He stays in nice. So you probably might have Rock Slide. This should be able to Ooh, baby, yeah. Good damage. That's good damage regardless. Dark pulse. Okay, that's fine. So he doesn't have rock move, which is cool. Gonna do a chunk. Um now we could go for a hurricane because he might want to save this. We do love the magma stone damage, pretty sure. Uh, so Moltres to a Heatran. Offensive Heatran. Oh, 50. Hurricane does do 25 to 30. So we would kill if we landed. Um, I think it's worth the risk, to be honest, because I can easily revenge this because of the range it's at. Um, but if he goes on to something like Lottie or Zapdos on the Scorching Sands, then it's okay. So I'm just going to Hurricane here. Yeah, cool. So nice. We made we made a solid play. Now will it pay off? Eon comes out, so we'll be able to chunk this thing, which is great. We won't take Magma Storm damage anymore because he did switch out, so that's cool. And we'll fire off a hurricane here. We do land nice. Beautiful damage. You'd love to see it. We'll see what this thing is. I think it is Choice Scarf Lotti though, for sure. That's very nice. Very nice. So much is doing the dang thing. Chip the team tremendously, which is great. That's fantastic. So we brought like a bunch of offense. I feel like it's bulky Bulu then. He might not have offensive Bulu. Um, but between Heatran and Lottie being chipped down is very great. Polt can easily start revenging things and kill things off late game because we are saving Polt in the back. And uh, Milotic is relatively healthy to take on Zapdos, so that's cool as well. We're going to come in here. He might predict and go for Mystical Fire or Shadow Ball. That's fine. He'll be able to eat it relatively well. Goes for Ice Beam anyways. Okay, cool. We'll eat this perfectly fine. And we just go for a... Um, it's Life Orb, Lottie. Okay, cool. So that's good information to have. I think we just go for a... A uh, rock slide because we should be able to metagross a uh, meteor mash. We won't be able to, we, uh, we won't be able to kill it anyway, so we're just better off going for a meteor mash, anyways. Yeah, now we can sack off Moltres afterwards. Or just opt to stay in. Cool. Okay, cool. Meteor mash will do a butt ton. This will do a butt ton too, but we, I will de we'll be able to eat it relatively well and we'll be able to take out the Lottie, so that's cool. Unless we miss. That's cool too. We're going to take more damage on Metagross. Uh, <laughs> I just go for Ice Punch here. Just to avoid the miss. Just to avoid the miss. So, Metagross. KO Latias. So, that's a big threat out the way. Sucks that we um, missed the <laughs> Bullet Punch. Because we could have used the extra HP. But it's fine. It's fine. So, nice. We got two KOs. Nice. We're looking good. Uh, you can bring out Heatran here. And I'll sack off Moltres. Or actually, I could just sack off Metagross. Like, Metagross isn't doing much right now. Uh, like, it's too low. It's not going to really do much. So, I could just sack off Metagross, whatever he brings in. If he brings in Zapdos, that's cool. And kills me off with U-Turn. I feel like that would be his best plan of action. Uh, to try to reposition himself. But either way, like, we just have to get Chip on Lycanroc and Zapdos. And we could, uh, Hulk can easily just clean up. Uh, we do need some chip on Bulu as well, because Bulu, I believe, is that full. Uh, yeah, we didn't touch it. Uh, Heatran's knocked off. Muzzle's dead. Lottie is dead. Uh, uh, Heatran is severely chipped, which is great. Moltres putting in the finest of work. You love to see it. We'll see what he's doing here. Goes in the mascot. That's Lycanroc. Okay. So, uh, I'm just going to straight up Earthquake. 
and just because I don't want to risk the miss. <laughs> so uh, if he thinks I'm going to switch out, that's a little bold of him. Or if he excel rocks here, he does. Do we live? We do live. Very nice. So he's not life over anything. But I could have meteor mashed. Is he sash? Is a crit. Is he sash? He sash. Okay, cool. All right, nice. I don't know why he would make that play, but I'm just going to go ahead. If I had bullet punch, that'd be great right here. But Lycanroc's going to pick up a KO. Lycanroc, KO, Metagross. Yep. All right, so nice. Now we just go out into Tangela. Uh, or do I go into Tangela? Because it is Sash. Uh, do I go out into Tangela? Because he, if he goes Heatran. Um is the question I was trying to position myself the best I can I could go into crook but he is sash so he outspeeds 100% I mean it outspeeds regardless I don't know why I said that I could go pull but I don't want to take the chip I guess I mean I could because I could reposition myself and then go out into crook and then bait in the Zapdos with the Moltres and try to get a burn I think that's cool um hold on because I'm thinking if it's scarf if it's scarf um um, Moltres, I mean Zapdos. Scarf Zapdos. With Throw Chop. Voice Scarf. Throw Chop. 64 to 76. I mean, yeah, I would just go Ham Sandwich, it's fine. It's fine, <laughs> it's fine, it's literally fine. It did take up some time there, I was overthinking a little bit. But we know a Sash, we could easily U-turn out right here. Uh, there's no, like, I'm just trying, because I think that's the best position I can get. Oh, unless that happens. Oh. Totally forgot about that. Totally forgot about that. That was a bad play. I should have just went Tangela. Should have just went Tangela. I mean, it's okay, because in the long run, I don't have to worry about getting hit, aside from, like, first Scarf Zapdos, but that's the problem. So, I mean, we have Milo, so it's okay. Uh, we can just go Crook right here and do what our original plan was. Whew, that was a little unfortunate. That was bad by my... I mean, not. Uh, it was a bad play. It was a bad play. <laughs> it was a bad play, 100%. 100%. Totally forgot about Sucker Punch. Uh, so I should have just went Tangela. But I was just trying to, like, position wise, it was Bulu right here. I didn't think. Oh, yeah, I didn't. Yeah. Totally not smart. But I, yeah. So I didn't even. I thought he was going to go out into Zapdos, actually. I mean, I feel like that would have been better for him, if I'm being honest. 100%. I feel like go if you're Zap. You just go out into it now because you outspeed regardless. I mean, even if I'm Scarf Crook, I can't really touch you. So, huh. I thought he was for sure would have went Zapdos. But yeah, I should have just, just went into Tangela and just killed it. Or even went into Milo. That would have been fine. We're going to go into Tangela right here. Uh, he might double out depending on what he wants to do. I can see a double. Goes for Horn Leash. That's not going to do anything. Fine by me. Um, I think what I do right here is, uh, I don't think he stays in. I think he goes Heatran here and I, and even if he doesn't, do I need to predict though is the thing. But like, I do I need to predict? Cause I don't think he stays in. I think you would go Heatran here and try to pick up another kill. But that's just me. So if I sack this now, then what happens? Yeah, I think I just... Hmm. I'm gonna go for Leech Seed and see what happens. If he goes out into Heatran, that's okay. Yeah, he does do it. So I could've, I could've done that. Oh. That's cool too. Do land the Leech Seed, very nice. That's cool. We could've knocked this off. That would've been cool too. Tangela. Fairy Bird doesn't kill. But I don't think it's worth to do all that. And we can get some decent recovery right here. And we have managed to chip it down just a tiny bit, which is cool. So we'll see what he wants to go out into right here. If he U-turns or if he just straight up Brave Birds. If he straight up Brave Birds, that's kind of cool. Does U-turn. It's understandable. It doesn't do too much. We'll get some recovery back, but of course we're gonna get toxic chipped. 
So we could have knocked that off, and that would have been great. So next thing happens, we'll just uh knock, I guess. Yeah, getting ah uh, then getting that much damage on Pult was not good. Could have just went Tangla instead of trying to do the most with the predictions right here. Not that we're in a bad spot because Lycanroc is dead, and uh Kirk can still win it. We just need to get rid of Moltres. Like Crook and Polt can still win it. Because he has he has this thing, Zap, and Heat Train, which is super low. So just gotta do worry about that. And we'll see what he wants to do here. Horn leech. Okay, he's just, just gonna keep doing it. Um I, I think I'm just gonna knock now. I'm gonna knock. Sludge Bomb would be cool if he stays in, then that's unfortunate. If he switched out into Bird again, that would also be unfortunate too, because then we could have killed it. Not killed it, we could have... Yeah, so knock off, we're going to be able to... I don't know why he keeps doing that. We're going to knock off, we'll see what it was. Was it Protective Pads or something? What was it? Choice Scarf, nice. So now Pult for real just wins. I don't know why he would risk the Scarf like that, because I feel like that's very important, but now I'm not like scared of anything. Um... Except for, I just need to chip, which I'm gonna call it down a lot more, is the only thing. So I just go back into Milo. And, cause like now I'm pretty sure Choice Specs Shadow Ball can kill it from the range it's at. Like Shadow Ball to 61 to 73, actually, so never mind. Goes for Brave Bird, nice, 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 nice. So we'll be able to kill it now for sure. Yeah, that's literally nothing. Literally nothing. Uh, might be able to pick the KO after this poison. Uh, so if I Ice Beam right here, can I kill it? I do not. I mean, Brave Bird after Brave Bird, I might be able to. But I can just recover right here. Uh, just so that way, if he does opt to U-turn out right here, this is opt to Brave Bird. Cool. So I'll, I'll trade Milo for this thing any day. That's cool. We do live. Very nice. Cool, cool. Be able to recover right here. It won't be able to kill us. I would love to go for like a slow flip turn. If I had it, but I don't. I felt like Scald and Ice Beam were necessary. So it was Toxic. Uh, so now we just go for Ice Beam. Because we should be able to pick up the KO after the Brave Bird chip. I do believe. Um, If he goes into Heatran, that's a little sucky. Uh, but we should be able to just kill it. Gonna withdraw cool. So he might go Bulu right here. Yep, nice. So we'll just be able to get off a free Ice Beam. Do some damage to this. Depending on what it is. It might just be AV. I'm not too concerned about this. Just a matter of killing things now. <laughs> Just a matter of killing things now. Ice Beam comes off. We'll see how much this does. That might be very well could be AV. I don't know. The top of Bulu. Because Ice Beam should be doing 48 to 57. Yeah, that's AV for sure. Or like Spadev. So we're going to swap out right here. I'm going to go Tangela. For sure. And we're gonna swap out. We are naturally. Oh no, we're naturally faster than Bulu. Never mind. I take it back. I take it back. I was gonna say we're naturally slower, but we're not. Unless he was running speed. He's gonna withdraw. Okay, cool. Doubles. That's fine. Goes on a fried chicken. That's fine as well. Um. Now, here's the thing, right? From a Moltres. Not, why do I keep saying Moltres, bro? It's a Zapdos. It's a whole Zapdos. Since we know it's not any boosting item, it was Scarf. So, it does 53 to 63. I could take that damage, but honestly, I can just sack off Moltres right here. And potentially try to get a burn, if as long as I have the correct ability. Which, what does my calc say? I am Flame Body. So, we might be able to snag a Flame Body burn. He also might go for U-turn, and we might be able to live. Goes for Brave Bird, that's cool. So we'll get some health on this thing. Um, and we should be able to maybe possibly uh, get a burn. No, we don't get a burn. Dang. That's fine. So we'll just go with Pult now. Yeah, go to Pult and we'll Shadow Ball. Because he either has to sack this thing off or he has to sack off, uh, uh, which I'm gonna call it, Heatran right here. So we'll just fire off a Shadow Ball. I mean, Gucci Gucci. Nice. So we pick off this thing. Cool. So Zapdos KOs uh, Moltres. And then Dragapult. 
KO. Uh, da 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 da. Um, uh, I keep saying Moltres. Oh, it's because I have one. Haha. <laughs> All right, so Bulu comes out. We're gonna go hard Tangela. This might be like a, because of the way I uh, chip things and whatnot. Uh, but I feel like he would have to attack me right here. Uh, and then Dragapult also KO'd, uh, whatchamacallit, Dragapult. Yep, KO's. Uh, Dragapult KO's who? Dragapult KO's? Oh, uh, Lycanroc, that's what it was. Lycanroc. Dusk. Cool. So terrain is gone, which is nice. Uh, I think I just leech seed right here for the potential uh, switch into Heatran, which I feel like should come. Yep, there it is. Nice, nice. Jules comes out, and then I'll just go into Milo. The leech seed comes off. Very nice. I'm gonna sap some more of this thing's health because it would have. I feel like knockoff and leech seed would have done like literally the same amount of damage. So this thing is out of here. He could double and he's in a position to. I have no reason to try to sack off Tangela right here. It would be like, that would literally be the worst play. So even if he does double, it is what it is. I can't afford to lose Tangela because it literally 1v1s the Bulu. And at this point, we're basically going to win. We do swap out. We see we're uh, faster, which means that he didn't swap out, obviously, because we're naturally slower, but this time for reals. Um, he might not be able to pick up the kill. Goes for Flamethrower. Okay, cool. So we'll be able to potentially KO this thing because, I mean, we take some toxic shit, but we get leech back. Did that kill? Nice. Cool. So uh, Tangela KOs uh, Heatran. Nice, nice. So now we can easily just go out into Tangela and pick up another KO with Sludge Bomb because even if it's AV, it will still die. It would get two shot for sure because it's quite effective. So nice, nice. Colt didn't get to go in as much as I wanted to, but at least he got two kills, uh, even though uh, we risked a sucker punch for one of them. So that's okay. It's okay. So we're just going to get up out of here and go right into Tangela. Crook didn't get to touch the field, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. It is what it is, you know? We're going to swap out right here, go Tangela. He has nothing left to do. He's going to have to straight up attack us, and we'll just sludge bomb. And that should be the game. Easy peasy, lum squeezy. Uh, shout out to Tangela for sure. Uh, I do think this thing was for sure AV. Because uh, it is a little thick. It's a little thick, thick. But yeah, we should be able to easily two-shot this thing, if not one-shot it. Because if it is AV, then I'm pro probably going to live it. Probably going to live it, but just by a smidge. And we just sludge bomb right here. Easy peasy, baby. Easy peasy, baby. Stone Edge comes off. So we did have the rock move. We eat that. We eat that for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We should be able to maybe get the KO. That's a two shot. It was AV. Yeah, yeah. Thick Bulu. Thick Bulu. It was a thick bull of fruit, bro. It was a thick bull of fruit. Um, but now we're going to be able to easily click Sludge Bomb one more time. And that should be the game, which is cool. Nice little win after happened last week. He does miss a Stone Edge, but it didn't matter too much. Even if he got a crit, he would have had to get like an Ultra Omega crit to KO Tangela, bro. Tangela's too thick. Tangle is way too thick, but we get off a nice KO, and that's going to be the game. A nice 4-0 dub for your boy. Very nice to bounce back from last week for sure, um, but very nice. Yeah, as I said, <laughs> but GG to Salty. Make sure to go check him out. His link will be in the description below. Um, but without further ado, if you guys like the video, go ahead and leave a like down below, and also make sure to sub if you are new to the channel. I forgot to mention this earlier, but shout out to one of the subscribers for saying, hey, they missed um, have, seeing the opposing team, so I went ahead and uh, got both teams on there just for them. So if you guys like that, make sure to also comment down below. Um, you know, I always listen, like listening to my fans down there and, uh, and the subscribers because you guys are what make this channel happen. And that's why I'm happy making content. But without further ado, I'm your boy Jay. I'm gonna get about your hair and I catch you next time. Bye.